All right, so now we're at our first stop. This is for any route, and this is for every stop that you're doing. Um, in particular, when you're coming to a stop, you gotta either figure out if you need a hard hat on or not. This here is a residential area, so we don't really need to have a hard hat on during this time, but always have it on you, because there's gonna be a lot of construction sites we go to. So, what we want to do first is we'll go through, open the door, secure it with our scrub brush bucket. After that, we'll go through, turn on the PTO in our truck, and suck out the water. After we're done with that, we'll grab a blue chemical packet, pop it in the tank. After that's done, run a water through, fill it up. Either you'll have a hose or a pipe. It doesn't matter which one it is, five gallons for the winter time. In the summertime, we'll use about 10 gallons. So since this is winter, we're only gonna be using five. After that's all said and done, we're gonna scrub our toilet down. Then we're gonna spray it off, rinse it off, and then wipe down all the major components for the toilet. So let's start with bracing the door open. So after that's said and done, go ahead, you can open the tank up, check for your toilet paper, hand sanitizer. I like to do this first, so then you can see it's full, you can close it and check to see if it's working properly. After that, go ahead, pull out your toilet paper and bring it to the truck. Go ahead and set it down and get your gloves ready. Okay. Now we'll start to pump it out. So I'll have to start the truck up. You won't be able to hear much for a while. out grab your blue chemical packet I have a sp special glove for this just because the packet can see in your hand blue and sometimes it's hard to remove so grab it like this you'll have screws right here where you can snag your packet into So you'll snag it, pop it, and then drop all the chemical packet. All right, after that's all said and done, grab your water hose or bucket and just fill up the tank to five gallons. And of course, summertime is thin.
All right, after that's done, you can go ahead and of course put your hose up and make sure you secure it back again. So that won't come loose. After that, we'll go ahead, scrub out our toilet. The main components to scrub out really is your seat. The seat cover, your tank, the front, the front of the tank as well, then the urinal, outside and around the urinal. And after that, scrub the floor because there's times where messes happen like that. All right, so now we're ready to start spraying out our toilet. So when you're doing this, make sure you spray off the whole toilet. Not just part of it, because everything needs to be sanitized. And with this water, it sanitizes it. So just go ahead and spray it until it gets clean. Everywhere. Alright, after you get the toilet sprayed and everything's finished, you'll go want to grab your rag. And we'll wipe down the major components of the toilet. So what we wipe down normally is our door handle here. Our toilet paper holder. Our hand sanitizer dispenser. Our vent stack. and the toilet seat. After that's done, go ahead and toss that in. Grab your toilet paper, and if there's any half rolls or used rolls, depending on the size, you can reuse them again. Don't be afraid, because we have at least three or four in a toilet, so it doesn't hurt. But we'll just put this back in its place and lock it into place. So after, after that, we check, sign the toilet. You can wipe that down to sign it, or right before your service, when you're checking your sanitizer and paper, you can hurry and give it a sign, that way it won't uh, ruin your sharpie when it's wet so after you got that done just you can start packing up make sure everything's closed secured nothing's gonna fall off and you're ready to go to your next site